What's up guys, welcome back to Nervous Tell. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some secrets in block spritz that you probably or definitely didn't know about. So yeah, let's get on to this video. So the first secret most people don't know about block spritz is in the middle town right over in this building right over here. So as you guys can see, it's the green like roof building over here. All you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to this building and go inside it and you should see the aura editor so what this dude does is he basically edits your like haki so as you guys can see this one right over here so as you guys can see i only have arm and body haki right now let me just uh, like edit that and get full body haki and let's do stage five and as you guys can see now i have full body haki so yeah he basically edits your haki i don't know what this dude does i haven't uh, like gone through his uh, like thingy yet so yeah oh my god talk to me later i don't know what he does so yeah basically this is the first secret guys so the next secret is in the desert island in the first sea all you guys can do is just basically look for the treasure chest in the desert island right over here as you guys can see so basically just go ahead and go to treasure chest and basically take the treasure chest and there should be a hidden path over here Go ahead and go through this path and you should see a NPC. So basically go over here, jump up and you should see Hassan right over here. Click on this guy, talk to him and he should give you guys uh, like a uh, like accessory that basically boosts your like a sword power. So you need to have at least 100 sword stats in order for you to get the sword power. If you guys don't have sword stat, he should basically say this, you're not ready yet homie or something like that. So uh, yeah, basically this is the second secret in the first sea, guys. So the next secret in Bloxfruits is in the Marine Fortress in the first sea right over here. So all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to this fortress right over here. So as you guys can see, there is a hole inside there. All you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to here. So most people don't know about this. That's why I'm uh, like talking about this. Uh, I personally didn't know about this. So I'm basically going to go ahead and go into here. So uh, if I can actually go in there, come on. Why can't I go in there? Okay. All right. Get down like this. And as you guys can see, you guys can get yourself a black cape from this dude. So let me just buy this thing. This is the first time of me buying this thing, actually. So let me just put this thing on. And as you guys can see, so this cape apparently gives you guys plus 5% damage on all things, plus 100 uh, like health and plus 100 energy. So yeah, this is basically the best thing that you guys can get in the first sea. So yeah, this is the third secret. So the fourth secret is in the magma island over at the first sea. As you guys can see, I'm in the magma island. All you guys get to do is just follow where I'm going, as you guys can see. So yeah, basically come out here and as you guys can see, you guys can see a little door over here. Go through this, go over to the living skeleton right over here. And this should, should sell you the soul kin. So as you guys can see, this is uh, like a really expensive kin. All you guys gotta do is just basically buy this thing and you should get yourself the soul kin. So let me show you guys the soul kin. So Ken, as you guys can see, so Ken, this is so Ken. This is what you guys get from this dude. This is a really good weapon, guys. So uh, yeah, this is the fourth secret. So the last secret that I know of in the first sea is this place right over here. As you guys can see, this is the Sky Islands, and it's just a little ways up here. And as you guys can see, there's a little castle over here. All you guys gotta do is just jump over here, and you should see Yoshi. This dude basically uh, like sells the rings. So. As you guys can see, Storm Air Rings, all you guys gotta do is just buy one from this dude. And uh, yeah, this basically like uh, boosts your attack power. So yeah, no, block switch power, not just attack power. So as you guys can see. So yeah, that is all the secrets in the first seal. Now let's get on to the second seal. So the first secret NPC in the second seal is here. As you guys can see, it's near the factory right over here. Just back of the factory, you should see this dude right over here, Cyborg. So this dude basically gives you guys a ship for like uh, uh, fragments. So basically make sure that you have fragments before you guys see this dude. Because if you guys don't have fragments, they do, this dude will just say uh, like uh, go away and he will just disappear guys. Okay, so make sure you have 1500 fragments before you see this dude and basically like get yourself the boat and yeah let me just show you guys this boat right now so let me just go ahead and go to the dock so as you guys can see the lantern this is the boat that you guys get as you guys can see so yeah 
It's a little one piece boat that you guys get. And that is the first secret of the second sea. So the second secret in the second sea is basically located at the Kingdom Rose right over here. So basically the plant area of the second sea. What you guys got to do is just basically get yourself a flying fruit or anything that can dash up towards the highest point of this like a whiny thing right over here. So yeah, basically just go up until you go to the highest point and yeah basically get over to here and you should see an npc right over here called the mysterious man and this dude basically sells you the mysterious uh not the mysterious the true triple katana i don't know why i said the mysterious one so yeah so you have to do a lot of things to get yourself the true triple katana that is why he's saying go away from me right over here so yeah basically do the things that you need to do to get yourself the true triple katana come back to over here and you should get yourself the true triple katana from the mysterious man so yeah guys that is the second secret in the second sea so the third secret of the second sea is located at a remote island so all you guys can do is just come over to the first dock over here and all you guys can do is just go over to this uh, location right over here as you guys can see there's a small island over at that area all you guys can do is just go over to that small island And as you guys can see, this is the island. All you guys gotta do is just go ahead and go over to this dude. Click on this guy and talk to this guy. And you guys can basically get yourself the kombucha gun. If you guys have enough gun stats, guys. If you guys don't have enough gun stats, he would just say, you're a weakling and go away. So, uh, yeah, basically have enough gun stats and get yourself the kombucha gun. Kombucha gun is one of the strongest guns in the game. So, uh, yeah, that is the third secret of the second C. Those are all the secrets that I know of in the second C. Now, let's get on to the third C. So, the first secret in the third sea is located on the turtle island right over here so as you guys can see all you guys can do is just come over to this location right over here and you should see this tree with like a, a wooden structure all you guys can do is just basically go over to here and meet up with this dude all you guys can do is just do this dude's quest and you should get yourself the rainbow hockey so let me just show you guys the rainbow hockey this is the rainbow hockey it's basically a slideshow of every single hockey color so uh, yeah basically all you guys can do is just do this dude's quest and uh, to do this dude's quest first you need to have at least 1950 levels so uh, yeah basically level up until you get yourself to 1950 levels and uh, basically uh, go ahead and go on youtube and basically like uh, search up the quest line and basically do the whole quest line and you should get yourself this uh, hockey color so yeah that is the first secret so the second secret in the third c basically gives you guys two accessories guys so uh, the first accessory you guys can get by uh, like uh, killing five elite pirates so let me just uh, show you guys my progress so as you guys can see i have killed 91 elite pirates so i can basically go ahead and go over to here talk to this dude right over here and this dude gives me the pretty helmet so let me just show you guys what i got so pretty helmet this one right over here so uh, yeah so uh, after i've killed the uh, five elite pirates you guys can basically get that and uh, after i've killed uh, like uh, five pvp players from this dude so all you guys gotta do is just get some bounties for actual pvp players in public servers for this dude like this and basically killing them i haven't uh, like uh, done any pvp quest so i don't really have uh, any progress on this and uh, you basically after i've uh, done like uh, five of them you should get yourself this helmet right over here as you guys can see on the screen so uh, yeah that is the second secret of the third c so yeah guys those are all the secrets that i know of in blocks fruits that's it from me guys i'll guess i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye